Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be opening a lot of card packs. I did pick up all these card packs. These are 21 boosters I think in total so this should be a lot of fun to get right into and since we don't want to drag this out too much we're just going to kind of get right into them. Since we do have so many I will just probably move them off to the side to start with while we un of course pack them all. We're going to get all these undone and out of this cardboard so that's where we are going to start. Alright guys, so now that we've got all of these open, we're looking at a pretty insane pile of card packs here. We do have 21 card packs here, I believe, so we'll make these into a little bit of a neat pile so we can work through them. With 21 card packs here, we should have, I think, 210 cards, which is quite the number to go through. Looks really nice, so we're going to, of course, start getting right into it. We'll put these off to the side over here. and. Start with the first pack, and it's going to be a Hydrus one. These do have easy tears, I believe. I always mess them up, though. I'm always terrible at opening these for some reason, which is not always a good thing. There we go. I did, of course, didn't open that very well, so that was a little disappointing. But the first card in this one is the Flip Cease Chaos. Then we have Water Slash, Wave Slash, Wild Strike, another Flip Counter. Aquas Shield. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on most of these since, of course, we've got so many to go through. The Hero Armstrong, that's actually a really nice one to get for, for a Chaos deck for me. Lightning as our one of our good cards for Hero, that's actually not bad. And there is Mulch. And our reverse is Titan Hydrus Ultra. Wow, okay. This is actually one that I wanted since we do have a Hydrus Ultra Pyrus, so that's really nice. We'll put that in the pile over here with more of our rarer cards and we're going to the next pack get these little ones open as always they say easy tear never easy there we go so just get rid of those oh revealing all the goodies right before we do the video Cease serenity for our flip cease ventus and punish not really the ones I'm after uh, Holt Aquas, Holt Darkus, Counter Chaos, Hyper Hydrus Ultra, another Hyper one that's actually really good too since another one of those won't hurt a Hydrus Ultra which is really quite good and we also got the Hyper, by the looks of it, the Hyper Fangzor, okay I don't have a Darkus Fangzor but nice to know we have an extra Evo there. Winton Styles, this is a Bakugan Elite card, awesome. This will go really nicely in my fiance's Ventus deck she's been working with. And one with nature, another Ventus card. Choose a hero. Yeah, choose a hero. Its controller must energize it. Oh, interesting. So it's another counter hero card in the reverse. Very, very nice start to these packs, to be honest. These packs seem to be quite good overall. We're only 20 cards in and we've already got some quite good pulls in my opinion. So we'll get right into this next one, finding the easy tail line. Alrighty. Of course, as I mentioned, I never have an easy time with these, no matter what I do. That's fine, since we're into this. We have a Pyrus Dominance, Spark, Shade Blade, Shadow Hue, uh, Photosynthesis, a Repel Darkus, Engulfed Embers, Dragos Fury, nothing exciting yet. Titan Nilius, awesome. Well, I was looking for a ti for a uh, Darkest Nilius Evo because I've got Darkest Nilius that I want to work with and be able to use in decks. And this Titan one is absolutely amazing, giving the plus four for every single card you discard, and it works really nicely in Darkest, of course, with lots of discard effects, and actually looks quite nice as well. And 
I will just double check this for a sec, but this is another Bakugan Elite card. So that's our second Bakugan Elite card already, I believe, looking at that. I believe that's what rarity it is. Yes, just to be double sure. And light as a feather for our reverse. I do love the reverse style cards. So already we've got a very good start. Very, very good. Hopefully all our packs can be this amazing. That would be really, really nice. Alrighty. So here we go, next pack. We have Dream Illusion, I think. Yes, Dream Illusion. Fragile to Light, Hero Strength, lots of uh, Chaos cards here. Light Break, Light Chart, Light Courage, sorry. Repel Destruction for Ventus, a Deep Illusion, Hot Potato. Our flip for our rarer slot is a super rare pack of Darkest, Darkness, sorry. This is probably one of the best flips for Darkest since it is a free for a discard, which is really nice. And our reverse is Hyper Trox. Darkest Trox in particular. Don't have any Troxes at all, actually, so this one probably just going into the binder for a bit until we can get some uh, Darkest cards, which will be really, really nice. So we'll chuck them over there and those into the big pile that we're now building over this side. So I usually personally like to open my packs like this, as I find it's much more effective, and I think that's how we may keep opening for now. So the first card here, Toxicity, when the camera wants to give me a fair go, sometimes it just never wants to work the way you want it to. There we go, Toxicity. Think again, Liquid Strike, now we're just uh, going to drop them all for me. Anyway, I believe Inspire was that one that we just dropped there, Ice Wall, Strength Max Tour, Right of Darkest, Might of Sinius. Uh, Inferno Wings for our rare slot, and it is a super rare, I don't know, you probably can't of course see that in the camera, the camera doesn't like to play ball always, and for our reverse, Diamond Trox Ultra, awesome, that's actually kind of cool to get in a pack, I don't have any Diamond Bakugan yet, but Diamond Trox Ultra is a great card to get, I've actually been very very happy with these so far, could not go wrong with this lot of cards, very respectable. Alright, so starting us off, we have Repel Pyrus, Repel Ventus, Ventus Power, Lava Flow. Now, onto some of the more normal cards Blinding Gleam, Bone Defense, Engulf Embers, Drago's Fury, a Titan Hydrus. We've actually got two of these now. My sister pulled one in a single pack from the other day, and I believe he's also a back gun elite card. So, another of the highest rarity, I think. Actually, no, I think. Yeah, no, back gun elite and then awesome rare. So awesome rare is the lower of the two, and we have a power ritual in reverse. Not the flashiest reverse, but not too shabby. Alright, the next pack here. There we go. Getting into this. So we have a Dark Fire, a Chaos Outsider, Darkest Strike, Holt Unknown, Aquas Shield, Ice Wall, Hyder Hyper Hydrus. Another one that I don't mind actually getting, since we do have a Hydrus in blue that came with the uh, the Baku case that my sister had bought since we started playing. Because we're kind of pulling all our resources in to get whatever we can and build the most optimal decks. Then we have Diamond Garganoid Ultra. So we don't have a Darkest Garganoid, but this is actually quite a nice looking card, even if it is only a rare, which isn't super crazy. Then we have... Hyper Maxator Ultra. So this was actually one of the other cards I was looking for, Hyper Maxator Ultra, since I did get the Max Tour recently. If you watched my opening video, I'd highly recommend it. So getting Hyper is going to be a really good bump to that in particular. And the last card for this pack, Corrupting Mist. Definitely not bad. So getting into the very next pack here. We're a reasonable way through now, I think. I don't, I don't know if we're third of the way or half of the way, I can't really tell based on how many we've got left there, we may have to check in a minute, but we have Dream Illusion, Repel Destruction, Repel Outsider, Repel Pyrus, Fragile to Light, uh, Heroic Strength, Corrupting Mist, which we just got in a reverse, Whirlpool, Hyper Hydras Ultra in Darkest, we don't actually have a Darkest Hydras, but not bad, and Hyper Pegatrix in reverse, perfect, I've actually got this from the starter deck, so having it in reverse adds just another one to make more consistency for Pegatrix. There is a few more Evos that I'm actually after in particular, we, if we find one that'll be great, I'm after Serpentees, I want a Pyrus Serpentees Evo, 
that would be amazing for my cards that I'm working on and some of the uh, Drago Evos would actually be quite nice so first up for this pack is Repel Ventus then we have Ventus Power Lava Flow Tainted Touch Terrify Pyrus Dominance Cocoon Shield Slowing Seeds and another Winton Styles so this is our second Winton Styles in this video alone it actually seems to be pushing me to really push the Ventus archetype with this card so really good another Bakugan Elite I believe we're actually having some amazing pulls from these packs and for the last card we actually have Nature of Stimulation Reverse so stop attack and energize this uncharged wow stop and attack and energize this for five it's a little expensive but in a deck that's already running Winton guess you have a chance to use that with Ventus now on to the next pack here let's see we'll get it open here been opening these in fairly different ways each time as much as I can now just trying to get into them alright so wild uh, sorry wild strike for our first card counter aggression counter chaos strength of maxator molten helix fragile light um umbral slash storm generator a Dan Kuzo, perfect. Dan Kuzo, Bakugan Elite is great. These packs are, I believe, I'll be honest, insane. Bakugan Elites aren't meant to be this common to my knowledge, and we've pulled a heap of them so far. And now I'm getting so excited, I'm slightly nudging the camera. And then we got a Might of Night in our reverse. So that Dan Kuzo, great card. I can't wait to mess around with that and build a good deck out of it. That should be a lot of fun. If we can get at least one more, I'll be happy. Three would be optimal, of course, but you can't complain. So, first card in this pack, Talon Slash, Song of Fire, Prismatic Bolt, Unrivaled Jump, Shifting Ashes, Fort Decay, Wayne, Nature's Power, Titan Dragonoid, awesome. Titan Dragonoid with Dan Kuzo. Great cards. I believe this is also another Bakugan Elite card. Back to back so far with these. And a Hyper Ventus Fangzor. Perfect. This can actually be really nice for uh, Ventus decks. So, since we already have the Fangzor and that, that will go really, really well. So for the next pack here we got, let's get this thing open as best we can. I'm really struggling with some of these packs sometimes. Sometimes they're really easy to open, other times they're just an absolute nightmare to get into. And this one is going to be one of those nightmare packs I think that I just have to rip open as best I can. So first card here, Ice Barrier, next Halt Darkest, then we're on to Chaotic Darkness I think, or well, yeah Chaotic. Ice. Ice Elevation, Ice Sickle, Venom Blast, Hero's Demise, Wayne, another Titan Nilius. Awesome. Two Titans is exactly what you need for Titan Nilius. Perfect. Getting some of the ones I really wanted. And Storm Generator in Reverse looks epic, having only the Lightning Bolt be reflective. Absolutely amazing looking card. Even if it isn't the best card in the world, it's an amazing one to get in Reverse when you want nice artwork, I think, personally. So here we go. Next pack here. So our first card is Light's Courage, then we have Ice Barrier, Ice Elevation, Wither, Ice Sickle, then we have Repel Destruction, we have an A, so this is another Ventus Hero, not the great ones, but that's alright. Bill Kuzo, that's actually okay, I don't mind getting Bill Kuzo. When your opponent plays a flip card, you may draw a card. Then we have normal Titan Trox, we have the Diamond Trox now, and now we got the Titan Trox for Ventus, not too bad. And Gravity Shift in Reverse. Now, we're getting towards the bottom of the pile of cards here, so we've only got probably another seven, I think, to go, which is actually a third of what we started with, so we're really only realistically two-thirds through this video. Uh, so we got Think Again, Fiery Rage, Laser Claw, then we've got Oaken Shield, Paralyzing Poison, Pyrus Strike, Trox Ultra in Diamond in a normal card. Alright, that's actually pretty decent. A Hyper Hydrus, again, not a bad one to get in a normal card. Then we have, for our rare, a Shadow Breath. Take control of a hero. Could be great if you are playing Counter Hero, of course. And we got Mac, another one of the Pyrus heroes in reverse. So that's actually not too bad. So we'll put them ones over there in our rare and super rare piles before we take a look at all these. I haven't really sorted reverses from rares too much, so don't expect that to be the case. Uh, one I haven't, don't think I've seen much, Prismatic Shield for Darkest. That's actually a reasonably cheap Darkest card. Then we have Shade Blade, Shade Hue, Holt Chaos, Smoke Armor, Holt Outsiders, 
another hyperhydrus. So now we have a full playset of hyperhydruses, I think. That should be pretty decent. Implosion, a third Winton Styles. So we now have a playset of Winton Styles to use. That is absolutely stunning for Bakugan Elite cards. My, the people in the group chats for Discord are going to be so jealous of some of these pulls. And Smash for the end one for Ventus. So at least it goes together. That's nice. So we do have just, I think, six packs left. Yes, so we're just over, just over two-thirds of the way through. So let's continue on. Sorry if this video is going to be running a little long for you guys, but this is a pretty awesome pack opening, to be fair. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, that looks like a good one back there. We'll get to that. Cycling Light is our first card, and then we have Repel Outsiders, Stone Skin, Repel Pyrus, Tainted Touch, Repel Ventus, Sowing Seeds, Cocoon Shield, and Hyper Maxitor Ultra again. Great. Having two of these will be really handy when I want to use him. And our last one is Leah Veng Venegas. I think she is another Bakugan Elite card, and this time in the foil Hex Foil variant, which is great. So getting her in Hex is perfect, and Maxitor. So that's actually... We've had some amazing pulls. If we can manage one more Dan Kuzo, I will be absolutely awestruck as far as these pulls have been. And it's going to be insane to start telling some people about these pulls when, especially this video goes up. This video isn't planned to go up for a while, but we may actually push this video forward if you guys are watching this as uh, we may make it in advance. Here we go. So, Counter Aquos, Piercing Scream, Ice Wall, Inspire, Razory Claws, Liquid Strike, Wing Cutter, Drago's Fury, Absorb for the Rare, and a Thunder Sword. I don't think I've seen Thunder Sword much. It is just a normal common card, but in Hex is actually okay, and Absorb is literally just an, wait, it's an awesome rare to Absorb. Wow, it's actually okay. I haven't seen many awesome rares from our, from our pools that I recognized, and that one is definitely going to now be one of them. All right, so we'll get this pack I'm done here. So we have a Lava Boost. Her Heroic Strength, Light Break, Magma Boost, Meltdown, Meteoric Lance, Storm Generator, Umbral Slash, uh, Luck Aura, I think this is another awesome rare card. Play a card from your hand for free, definitely good if you want to pull out really high cost cards for cheap. As a flip, definitely not bad. Uh, and Whistle Out, so, oh sorry, White Out, Whistle Out, White Out, plus three to a Chaos for zeros. Not the worst outcome possible, so just Three more packs to go, and we have quite a pile of cards next to us now. So we'll get, get this one open. Alright, so, Holt Unknown. Chaos Access... Sorry, Ascendary. Ascendary, I'll say that's what it is. Razor Wings, Piercing Scream, Razor Claw, Cease Serenity. Uh, Hyper Serpentis Ultra in Chaos, which is just a... Uh, rare, I think, yes, just an all rare, not too exciting. Uh, Lightning, another rare. Titan Hydra's Ultra for our awesome rare, so we should now, I think, have a playset of this as well, if I'm right. And maybe, maybe not Titan, maybe we have Hyper, I can't remember. Uh, Cease Chaos for our reverse, which personally I'm not a fan of these dedicated flip cards because unless you know what you're going up against, they're really not worth running. Now, on to the next pack here. We've only got two more left before we look at all the cards that we've pulled so far. So we have uh, Shine, Meteoric Lance, Stoic Shot, Molten Helix, Super Shot, Dream, a Hyper Dragonoid. I did need another Hyper Dragonoid, so getting a third one of him at least is okay. Even if she, he isn't rare or anything. Inferno, Hyper Max Tor Ultra, that makes three, and white out for our reverse. And out for the final pack here. For this opening, it's definitely taking us a while to get here. My legs getting a little, a little exhausted just sitting on the floor. So starting off with Block Pyrus, Block Ventus, Terrify, Thought Decay, Unrivaled Jump, Prismatic Bolt, Diamond Hydras Evo. That's actually not bad. It's not super crazy rare, but it's a normal standard rare, so that's not too bad. Olivia Styles for our one of our hero cards now, and we have. Cyndacoil, destroy all enemy heroes. Could be good against the hero deck if it ever becomes a thing. And a third. Oh, actually, oh, I think that's a fourth Winton Styles. We'll have to go back through here. If this is our fourth, I'm absolutely awestruck. So we'll take a look at all these cards that I've got over here now. They're not going to be in any 
massive particular order or perfectly in order since I've kind of just been putting them in a pile off to the side here to take a look at in a minute. So we might actually see exactly how many of what we got here. So just going through some of our, our background elites, rares, everything that we pulled that was uh, in those rare slots. So Winton Styles, our Hyper Max Tour, Wired Out, uh, Cease Chaos, Hide Out, Black Aura, sorry, I'm just going off camera a little bit, uh, Absorb, uh, Thunder Sword, another Hyper Max Tour, uh, a Leah, a second Winter Styles there, Smash, Mac, Pact, there's just some insane cards, we're just going to kind of uh, flip through them unless they're important, like Titan Ilias and Hyper Fangs are worth me, uh, Titan Dragonoid and Dan Kuzo, amazing cards as well, Might of Night, a third Winton Styles, so we've actually got more than enough of those. Natural, Hyper Pegatrix, Hyper Hydrus Ultra, Corrupting, another Max Tor, Titan Hydrus, uh, really not a lot more in this that I can see here that I like. I like Pact quite a bit. Uh, maybe we did only get three Winton. One Mulch, Titan Hydrus, maybe, maybe, no, we did get four, so four Wintons, absolutely insane. Another Titan Ilias, Hyper Trox, and Titan Hydrus Ultra, so Honestly, these are some of the most insane pulls here in this pile. Should be pretty crazy as far as they go, but I feel like we got way more background elites than necessary. I'll probably put in the description exactly how many we got, but pretty insane. So if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content. You'll find any information in the link in the description below that relates to me. And until next time, guys, see ya.